We've put Terry Dunfield to work yet again. It's like he's gone back to school studying the Montreal Impact ahead of the Eastern Conference Championship. Wheeler and Dunfield with you. Yes, this is Terry Talks tactics. Now, we've talked about this over the course of the last week or so, how important it will be for Toronto FC to not just go out there and defend in the first leg in Montreal, but go out and score an away goal against a very good defensive team in the Montreal Impact. Terry, you've watched the tape all week long. You have found some holes in the Montreal Impact defense. Let's talk about the three points here, and you really think that you can find some room in front of the Montreal fullbacks. Yeah, just before I look at how we break them down. I just want to say one of Montreal Impact's absolute strengths in the playoffs has been this back four with their three defensive midfielders in front of them. But every system does have a weakness. I think, as you just said, there's a little bit of space just in front of their fullbacks. At times, Piatti and Oduro, the, the, they're offensive players. They don't want to track back. They get caught up the pitch. The three defensive midfielders, uh, Donadell, he just sits in front of the back four. Bernadello and Patrice Bernier, one's 30, one's 37. They're not going to get over and cover the, the two full backs and we've seen that there's a little bit of pocket of space there the first goal for DC Nagel's header uh, comes from a fantastic Nyarko cross just from that area just in front of Iongo also the goal they concede at Red Bull Stadium's Royer he picks up the ball plays a 1-2 gets in behind Iongo squares it to Bradley Wright Phillips also the pair of goals at the end of the season for us comes from that pocket of space where Justin Morrow puts an early ball into the box Josie Altador he scores one he also also knocks down another one to tell St. Ricketts. It's an astute observation when you pack it in oftentimes that's where you can find the pockets of space and that's where TFC can take advantage. Another thing that that, that you, you came up with Terry is the fact that this Toronto FC team can do something they haven't really done a whole lot of in the season and that is shooting from distance. Typically they tend to work the ball into, into tight areas and that's where they found their goals but if they shoot from distance they may be able to be rewarded. Yeah that's one of Montreal's strength right now and they did that very well against the New York Red Bulls. They were compact and uh, difficult to break down intricately around the box getting and it could be tough getting balls in to Zario Cooper especially mm. on a tricky surface at the Big O. Um, so what, one thing I did notice is the game went on, the Montreal Impact, they started to collapse a little bit too deep, worried about that ball in behind, and the shot was on from distance. I know it was late on in injury time. Kemp scores an absolute screamer in the first playoff game. Also, Kleshin, he had a couple shots from distance that were effective for the New York Red Bulls. Hit it off the turf as well. That will play a role. Shooting from distance, a good idea. Look for Bradley and Cooper and Azorio to maybe have a go from a little bit of a longer distance than they typically Even do. Even Seba dropping back sure. into the fine space. He's got that knuckleballers that keepers hate. Uh, finally, Terry, it's about playing the early ball. We saw TFC play a little bit more direct, straightforward at times in their victory in New York City. I mean, the goal that Altidore scored is the perfect example of it, but play that early ball and be rewarded as yeah, well. Yeah, it might not be the sexiest soccer and, and you want to sort of play through midfield and, and that's the way you want to do things, but at times when Montreal are back in that block of four and three, the space early on is in behind and that Altador girl is a perfect example it was a great ball from Zavaleta also in the third minute in the first leg against the Red Bulls at Stad Sabuto Bradley Wright Phillips he gets in behind the two center halves who aren't the quickest Simon and Cabrera so that that's another way TFC could break down the stubborn system so those are three of Terry's steps to break down the Montreal impact shooting from distance playing the early ball and of course finding the space in front of the fullbacks that is Terry talk tactics made a whole lot of sense to me. I hope you all learned something.